This is just a crazy idea I had and I did not think that people would want to see this. As I was plowing snow with my machine, I had a random thought. I wonder if there's a faster way to remove all of this snow. I briefly thought about the jet engine and I thought, well, I got a jet engine set up in the garage and we have a lot of snow. And I think I'm only gonna have one chance at this because the amount of snow that we've gotten in the Midwest in the last couple days is something I don't think I've seen before. Might be pretty cool. I'm not really sure what to expect because I have never done anything like this before. Not with a jet engine anyway. Let me get it all set up, see what happens. One of the nice things about this stand and part of the reason that I designed it this way, I can bolt this to anything flat or in this case, a piece of wood and test the engine whenever I want. I don't want any foreign object damage. Power and ignition, open this door. Oh man, there's a lot of snow. Holy cow, look at that. Oh man, look at that. Oh! Oh, this is gonna be good. At this point here, it's 51 inches tall. That's about, I would say, four or five feet thick. I was thinking this could kind of collapse in and hit the engine while it's running, and it could ingest a lot of snow. I mean, it could make a cool video if I had the high-speed camera set up, but in this case, I'm just trying to see what happens. If we start this jet engine up right here and blow right through that wall, <laughs> it seems like it's gonna be fun. I'm not sure how much all this snow weighs, but that wall of snow is pretty big. So for this test, I'm looking for the maximum amount of thrust possible. So I'm gonna go straight with the jet fuel because that's what made the most power in my previous test. I'm still looking into why diesel didn't make enough thrust, but I think I have it figured out. All right, I'm not sure what happened there. 
It just flamed out, so I gave it some compressed air, cooled it down a bit, and uh, I'm gonna restart it. All right, that's about it. I guess it collapsed. This is definitely not the best way to remove snow. I used three gallons of fuel. I definitely overestimated the power and the destructive force of this turbine. And these little turbines, most people, what they do is underestimate the noise, but this left a huge mess for me to clean up. Water everywhere. And this is quite a bit of snow. Yeah, I thought it was just going to make a tunnel. It made a tunnel, melted the snow, and the whole thing collapsed. So there you go. That's what it looks like to use a small jet engine to try to remove snow from in front of your garage. Definitely not the preferred method of snow removal. My machine for sure works better. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Yeah, I got a bunch more crazy videos on the way, hopefully. If it doesn't snow, like another eight feet in the next two days. Thanks for watching.